So Hoyaverse has just released a new special program, version 3.7 for Genshin Impact. I ended up sleeping in a little bit, so I missed it. So let's see what it has to offer. Whoa. Oh. You must be the legendary traveler. Yes. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, are you following the tournament too? It's a pleasure to meet <laughs> Wait. you. Wait. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. We're getting I've another tournament? To cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Since you've also taken interest Ooh. in the tournament, uh, how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Yeah, of Two course, tournaments back to back? Okay. Your name will even appear in the credits. Her design, if by the way, I'm is super mistaken, cute. You're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Oh, ho, ho. I really do have an eye for a story, don't I? It seems like this will be a solid piece. I can see it now. Exclusive inside scoop hmm. on the renowned traveler and secrets of the TCG tournament masters. Okay, well, Sino's definitely going to be it here if it's a TCG it, no? tournament. Eh, it's just a working title for now. Any journalist worth their salt knows how to look past the surface and get the real story on any breaking news. But huh. it's important to always keep the stories based on actual facts. Wait, does she have an outlet? We can always discuss more details later. Nah, I can't tell. Of course, I'll be covering the latest stories from the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Is but she a I'll new character? Keeping my eyes open for any other potential news leads. When it comes to breaking news, I'm always the huh. first on the scene. <laughs> anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. I can There's definitely a lot see more exciting news waiting to be uncovered. I can definitely see her being a look. character. But a TCG tournament, eh? Hmm. Do my ears deceive me, or do you two have hmm? some breaking news to share with me? Okay, I'm really liking her character. This is the King of Invocation Grand Prix. <laughs> okay, a the music. Snatcher. Hmm. How very interesting. Oh. The city on the lake teams with talent. We're getting, TCG we're getting Hazaha. Prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain. Okay, cat. Uh. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. But well, I've forgotten his name. The sun shines bright. All right. Say your piece, challenger. Let's go. Kaidahara <laughs> Kazuha. Who tells? Accept this duel. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, Ooh. only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Wait. <laughs> the nerve, saying that in the presence of me and A. Wait. Oh, well, okay. Be able to reach me Huge cast right? of characters. You must be wow, she is really cute. To shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. In this right tofu, oh, all the frills have gotten too cold. I would be happy to play. Tournament? The tournament has already been Hey, finished. my boy. I used forbidden <laughs> hand at the opportune moment. <laughs> Yo, he's such That's a dog. I love no him. Thank you for there she the is. There she is. Kirara. Okay, this trailer's got me so hyped. Oh, okay. This is a great cast of characters. Wow. So, this is Sumeru? There are so many huge mushrooms here. Yeah, young Mia. Have to lie on. Okay. Yes. I love seeing characters from different roles. Okay. I love seeing characters from different regions in like a dip. I love seeing characters in different regions come to like another one. Okay, first code. Shit. Kaya, that's his name. I, I don't know why I forgot Kava's name. I think there was just so many K's. Like, I knew it was started with K, but I Hello, liked it saying Kave. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.7 special program. Ooh, okay. I'm your host, Sarah the Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumin, and I have a new friend here with me. Make sure the truth comes first mm. and report stories that stand out the most. This is reporter Charlotte from the Steambird. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, from hey, Fontaine. Hey, everybody. I'm Maya Alkitettle, the voice of Charlotte. And as mentioned just now, Charlotte is a reporter from Fontaine. And yep. she's currently working for the Steambird, which many of you may have probably already heard of. Uh, oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. And if I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column for the Steambird. 
so it seems oh, like it's pretty okay. famous. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. All across Nevada reading it. Yes, that's right. But I'm hmm. not the only special correspondent in our special program. Oh, today. who else we is also here? We have other special correspondents reporting from the field to oh, help us bring I see, all I see the information Kara. Okay, we need I see, about this upcoming version. I see Kara. So I see Kara's a uh, Kara's okay, box in the ba ready background. Okay, I bet everyone's ready to see what we have in store. So why don't we dive right in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems there's quite a lot going on in the picture here. I see uh, a couple familiar faces. And let me guess. The cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte, right? Ooh, no. That's right. <laughs> Charlotte's the one with the camera. She is a journalist after all. Is she so going to be playable, though? At all times. She definitely has the so design the to be playable. Version, Charlotte will be appearing in the event storyline, or she'll be dispatched to cover a popular Genius Invocation TCG competition. Given that the competition Shit, is bro. an international event, Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her news materials. Oh, okay, I see. That explains why we see so many friends yeah. from different nations in the picture here. The regions in the background. Does that mean that she's going to be traveling around to that then? You bet. As a foreign correspondent, she'll definitely be checking out the event venues in different locations. Yo, so bro, take us to Fontaine. To Just bring us there now. TCG journey. Whoop, whoop. However, a whoop, keen whoop. and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the Genius Invocation TCG event, even though that's really important. But during this journey, she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler. Ooh. Ooh a strange case, huh? Okay, that does actually sound really newsworthy. I was going to mention the Kara <laughs> right. box. But uh, that's all I can share for now. The mystery will be yours to unveil in version 3.7. Hmm. So if you want to find out what happens, then make sure you don't miss out. It's probably going to have to do something. Yeah, it has something to do with Fontaine, probably. In, event. in addition to the event storyline we just introduced, the Adventurers Guild has also Duel prepared the some other event Summit. mini games to spice up the TCG tournament. That's right. There will be a total Crown of, of four event game modes, including Very nice. a tour of wonders, zero hour invocation, ever motion mechanical painting, and heart of the dice. Ooh. In a tour of wonders, the organizer has set up checkpoints in various nations. After you complete the required challenges by navigating obstacles or defeating monsters, Yo, you'll be able bro, to land. commemorative Thank stamps you. at the checkpoints. So collect more of these stamps during your sightseeing tour to obtain the corresponding rewards. Okay, I see. So the Just stamps explore. will be like proof of your experience traveling in different nations during the event. Just gonna you know, teleport like there, innit? Collecting isn't it? stamps and a passport. Exactly. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Unlike the official hmm. tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set, so you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck by selecting cards ah. from the decks prepared by the organizers. No. And chances are you'll get to duel against some familiar faces. I won't be able okay. to use my standard Sounds deck like anymore. Fun already. It's All forcing right. me to what use about different Evermotion cards. Evermotion Mechanical Painting and Damn part it. of the dice. I think many of our travelers have played Evermotion Mechanical Painting oh, before. Oh, the shit again? This game God damn it. by a dreamer from Fontaine has undergone a few new changes. So this time around, you need to adjust the position of the mechanical painting surfaces by swapping or rotating them first. Oh, and then God damn it. the appropriate gears on the preset points to restore the painting. And I've heard that the paintings are all based on Genius Invocation TCG cards. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's going to be so cool. And based on the people uh, we've met, you should never underestimate Fontaine's pursuit of mechanical designs. But of course, I'm sure I mean, sure they're impressive, but they're goddamn annoying. Store those paintings with just a few attempts, or more than just a few attempts, if, <laughs> if people need it. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have Heart of the Dice, which is a combat game mode. During combat, you'll be able to obtain random elemental dice by defeating monsters. Use right. this impressive roll skill to consume all the dice you possess and unleash a shockwave that deals damage to nearby opponents. Well, this is going to be fun since it's combat-based, but... More dice consumed matching the elemental type of the active character will result in greater damage dealt by the shockwave and higher chances of obtaining more buffs. Yo, okay, it seems just like these are some so special good. dice, so we'd better make good use of them. <laughs> yep, and travelers will be happy to know that there are a variety of rewards waiting in these events. In addition to primo gems and enhancement materials, rewards also include a new four-star bow called Ibis Piercer, along with its hey, exclusive refinement materials. Hey, that is a sick name. Materials. Yay! So exciting! Is it any good, though? <laughs> All right, that, that's, that's the question. That's all we have regarding the main event in the upcoming version. On to our next correspondent. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. It's quite packed. That may be all for the version event, but I still have something else to report. Oh, right. okay. Hit in us. version 3.7, there'll not only be a genius invocation event, 
but also a major update to the TCG game itself. Oh, what? finally. Oh, okay, that's awesome. What can and we expect to see all of the, the gods, so eh? in the upcoming version, many new cards will be added to Genius Invocation TCG, including character cards, monster cards, Ooh. and action cards. Amazing, right? This is yeah. definitely what I and needed. it's also noteworthy that the cards of the Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro Archons God. will also be available after the update. How OP is strongly going to be? Incredible and fun new decks. Nice. Okay, that's going to be quite the update. Jean Lee could more. easily so, break the game. With so many cards being added. How could we fully enjoy them without some new game modes? So, in version 3.7, hmm. the Arena of Champions mode will be available too. And and what'll be different about this mode? Glad you asked. In this <laughs> mode, travelers must use their deck to duel against each other and accumulate a total of 5 victories. Ooh. As you that, can imagine, that, that can be a five serious test dice. even for a seasoned duelist. So, Plus, three I'm guessing for the will result full in a shield failed challenge attempt and you'll have to start all over. So, if oh, you're no. feeling yeah, if you're feeling confident about your deck and your TCG skills, then be sure to come to the cat's tail and give it a shot. Yeah, okay, I've got my starter that cards that I use. Intense. I'll be, I'll Will be done. Will be anything for someone less experienced, you know, maybe like myself? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I got you. Okay, so another TCG mode is called the Forge Realms Temper, which will mm -hmm. also be available. You'll be allowed to configure the difficulty of the game mode, as well as to choose from a bunch of additional conditions to score extra points. Okay, Ooh. perfect. I'll definitely be picking some conditions that suit my decks the best. <laughs> uh, what? What's what happening? <laughs> finally, what is going on? finally, a, finally addressing Kara. <laughs> I got so caught up in listening to you two talking that I almost forgot that I'm on the job. Anyway, here I am. Fair on it. <laughs> I have an urgent delivery for you. Yeah, Kira's design I just really like. It. It's, it's cute. A good review. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So cute. Um, this event here, though, I'm actually super excited for. I mean, just seeing Sino and Hutel, it, it's going to be a treat. Sino with being a nerd with TCG is just always so goddamn entertaining. All right. Welcome back, travelers. Our two special correspondents this time oh. are. Dun, da, da, da. It's me. Oh, they swapped it's Jenny out. Yukabori, the Yay. voice of Yoimiya. Hello, Hi, Yoimiya. Everybody. I'm so excited to be here doing the special program. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Meowdy, Breathe. travelers. I'm Julia Goo, voice actress for the new playable character, Kirara. Okay, so Kirara. you were in a kitty box just now, so thank you for that urgent delivery. <laughs> I think Kirara, for yep, me, just rolls just off the Kirara's tongue better. Job. She is a courier like no other. More like purrier. Ooh. Uh, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> mm. But before we get to hear more about Kirara, why don't we check her out first? Yay! Oh, her kit? Oh, the scenery here is wonderful. Okay, I haven't actually seen her kit yet. I've landed the perfect job. I just know that she can turn into a box. Coming through. Yo, a, she does a bat flip kick. <laughs> there it is. Service with a smile. Okay. Gosh, you want her to be my best friend? She's so cute. Her tails. Her tails. Oh, so cute. Her tails. Her the love, the love hot tail. That's Very the most nice. adorable thing I've ever seen. I so know. Cute. Did you guys see her in the little box? It was like, oh, she coming. Oh, she coming. Also, her old dress okay. is really cool. I want to so eat cute. the jellies. I want to eat those slimes. <laughs> hey, Kiara the backflip kick. For Komania Express On point. And often makes international deliveries. She's also a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's nothing she can't deliver. Oh, oh international like deliverer? Kitty cat tails, and why her shoes are like those cute little cat claws. They have like the toe beans at the bottom, and I want a pair. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, those are just her regular feet. Oh, I'm embarrassed. For Kirara, uh, even though she could use her yokai powers to have human feet, she's still a Nekomata and feels more comfortable using her own claws to move. That, and that is so very cute. fair. They really are. And also, Kirara has two tails. Can you tell us anything about that? Mm. And two oh, pairs yeah. of ears. Tell us about that. that. Don't avoid that. Potential. So with two tails, I guess this means that Kirara is a really powerful yokai. Some bandits might assume that Kirara is an easy target, thinking okay. that it would be easy to steal a package from a young girl, but, <laughs> but they are in fact <laughs> fools. 
and this mistake yes. always ends with the bandits running off after she gives them a good <laughs> thrashing. Anyone I'm that can turn into a box, this, I'm running. She's awesome. That's this goddamn little, terrifying. Little kitty cat girl boss. <laughs> like, okay, and having her as your courier basically, like, determines that your package is going to get there safe. That is incredible service. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt about that. Kirara is a very responsible worker and will do her best to ensure every order she receives is delivered. Mm. Of course, if the client can spare a meowment, she doesn't mind receiving a good review. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh, she is so cute and diligent. I would definitely give her an extra tip right on the spot. Absolutely. Nope. Like, catnip, fish, mora, whatever she wants. <laughs> Okay, I just so I just hope the meowing doesn't get Zuma too over the top. As a delivery person, what is what's the what's the line there? Okay, well if you think about it, the yokai and Inazuma do seem to have a mix of jobs. So True. Yeah. well, speaking of which, even though Kiara is a strong yokai, she does care about her work and enjoys her job. She also enjoys human society, fashion, going to places she's never had the chance to visit before. Her deliveries give her a oh, way into human society. So she'll have a blast with Dia pretty much then. Places. To her, working is basically like getting to take a series of uh, <clears throat> expense-free trips. <laughs> I mean, Wait, fair enough, just isn't realized, it? Charlotte is technically traveling for work too. So maybe they can get together and enjoy some <laughs> expense-free outings. Cool. Okay, I think everyone is waiting to learn more about this yokai courier's abilities. Absolutely, yes. Right? Yes. For sure. Let's move into Kirara's ah. skills. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kirara is a Dendro Element sword user and can effectively assist her companions while also making world exploration more efficient. Okay, her attacks look hmm. amazing. She swipes just like a cat using its Oh, shit, sure, yeah. I, I actually it. didn't, I didn't yeah. see that, actually. She is a Nekomata, after all. Additionally, her exploration... <laughs> <allows> her <laughs> <move> <laughs> and just, the enemy just starts screaming. Them. She's an apex predator. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So it's going to be easier ah. to get like, foul and raw meat and easier to hunt. Yeah, watch out. I mean, Timmy should this really doesn't make much <laughs> of a, vi uh, of a difference Timmy. if you're really yes, fast, Timmy. but... No! Sorry. Sass me. Oh, yeah. Well, she's always Best case for Timmy well as well. Fed, no matter the means. Uh, by tapping her elemental skill, Kirara creates a dendro shield that can protect her from harm. Okay, shields right. are great. They'll keep both her and the delivery safe, which is Love all that shield. matters. <laughs> Yo, the bat flip and is so disrespectful. the elemental skill will not only grant shields, but also put Kirara in a unique state. <laughs> cool. So the whole thing is that that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire it's life. So and stupid. I love it. Tell me more about it. Right, meow. <laughs> oh, mm. no problem at all. Thank you. Mm. Yes. In this state, Kirara will deal dendro damage upon slamming into enemies, but more uniquely. This state will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Okay, hey, climbing um, speed as well? So that's actually so really nice. Get this straight. She'll be able to just climb straight up walls. Right, how fast? Oh, yeah, she'll be able to go straight up a oh, vertical surface in this state. That's actually um, really fast. Okay. That's actually really well, helpful. That's amazing. The best thing ever. <laughs> she's <laughs> going to be so great for exploring. And I guess that's one of the reasons why she's a trustworthy courier. Mm -hmm. Was she able to Finally, go up a curve there? Burst, if so, that is the enemy with a game changing. Delivery package, which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. These bombs ah. will then explode upon contacting enemies or after a duration, dealing dendro damage. And can we just appreciate the fact okay, so she's that kinda good at the bombs are kitty-shaped? Because reactions. I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah. so cute. So cute. She has kitty-styled attacks, kitty-styled deliveries, and she also has kitty-styled bombs. Amazing. <laughs> Impressive. She is adorable. So aside from Kirara running to various nations making deliveries, I hmm. also heard about another one of our friends leaving their home to explore the world. Oh, good old Yoimiya. Ooh, so who wants to go on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it Yoimiya? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh, at me, a humble oh. PNG. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Doc. I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling across nations right, we'll because you have information on Yoimiya's turn, turn story off the quest. Things here, so I we totally actually can do. See I them. was just being a little stinker. <laughs> oh wait, story okay, quest? So, oh shit. The decree has been repealed for some time now, and Yoimiya has been wanting to that, go out and see the outside That only world. just registered in, in my mind. Point seven. the second act of wow. Yoimiya's Karasius Arata story quest is about to begin! Woohoo! She will be embarking on I mean, a globe-trotting adventure, heading I'm to Sumeru, the Nation of Wisdom, a 
alongside the traveler. Whoop, whoop. It's a pretty far trip. So we're just I getting mean, another date really with Yoimiya, really pretty much. Here too, not that I'm biased or anything. I seriously cannot wait to experience what happens in the 3.7 update. Right. And, uh, hmm. uh huh. And you know, traveling with a girl is easygoing and cheerful and cool and amazing. Not that I'm biased or anything, as Yoimiya <laughs> will be a hmm. joy. Not I biased think she's at all. Like the best like travel companion. Again, not biased or anything. <laughs> <laughs> But to ensure that everyone gets hmm. the most out of this story quest, I'm going to be a good bean, and I will not say any spoilers. That way our travelers okay. get the chance to explore. Hopefully we get some kind of massive law good. bomb then. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. That's, that's, Probably that's not, nice but you. Thank you. we yes, can always see? wish. I'm good. <laughs> but when the time comes, I hope you Amia's new story can brighten everyone's day just like she always does. Oh, yeah. Very wholesome. For sure. And we're not biased. No, not no. biased. Mm -mm. Still, none of us. Just honest. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> also, kind of like speaking of honesty, I was honestly wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.7? Right. That takes us to our event wishes. I think this is something our travelers are Wait. always interested in. So, for further details, I kind of forgot who they were going to reveal. Please direct your attention to the big screen. Ta da! No! Oh, wh where did that uh, come from? Oh, Yaimiko. I just remembered that we're today's reporters. <clears throat> what? Oh, Wait. according to reliable sources, the first half of 3.7's event wishes will okay. boost <laughs> drop rates for Yoimiya and Yaimiko. Kira is a four star? Kirara will also be making her debut in these event wishes. I thought she was a so five star. Travelers who want Kirara might want to take note. And the second half of version 3.7's event wishes will see Kaidaha, and Kazuha, and Alhatham getting their own reruns. Sarah, why are you talking okay, so I can skip reporters. everyone since I already hey, Sarah, have everyone. That's actually really nice. We hope that all I have our no travelers will be able to keep happily exploring Tavad. And now to Jenny with the weather. The weather is still weather. Anyways, <laughs> when travelers follow you and me, honestly Sumeru, sounds like something I would just reply with. Kabe. This is because Kabe's very own hangout event will also be available in the Let's go! <laughs> oh, yeah, our master architect from Sumeru. Oh, this yeah, is going to be Kabe so much fun. Even though he seems super carefree, he has certain principles that he always clings to. I'm sure God, if we spend okay. time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a lot better. Best oh, part of this update, no time. hands down. <laughs> so travelers interested in learning more about Kabe will get to experience his stories firsthand in version 3.7. Definitely something to look forward to. That is, that's going to be yeah. so much fun. Now that we've covered the new stories coming our way, I think we can move on to some news about other fun events coming in version 3.7. What do you chapter. think? I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, Sarah, my friend. <laughs> okay, so not only are there events, but there will also be tons. Tons of incredible rewards and prizes. Yo, too. that is a sick Ooh, domain. I'm so excited. You should oh, be. so am I. <laughs> well, so, without further ado, let me introduce the first event. In version 3.7, mm. the Divine Ingenuity Collector's Chapter event will be available. Oh, I remember this oh. event. This is the one that lets you design your own domain. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Right. However, this event's gameplay huh. has been upgraded a bit. And the development team has specifically designed ah, stages okay, for everyone this to thing. challenge and get used to the rules. For example, the first stage requires you to build a mechanic to defend a monolith. And the second will be a coin collecting fiesta that everyone's familiar with. Mm. Ah, so it just, okay, it just yes, merged two story. game modes pretty I'm much. Not the best at collecting coins. Oh, they're missing, they're missing <laughs> the coins. That's actually really annoying me. Yo, okay. bro, collect all the coins! The <laughs> Stop! Stage, there will be multiple areas available, and everyone will be able to get a special item. Artificer coins. I want it! You're gonna get a lot of them. Right. These coins will allow people to buy various buffs from buff stations located in each area to boost their team's effectiveness. Nice! Okay, so hmm. we'll be able to keep getting stronger as we progress. Exactly. Speed. The fourth stage requires everyone to keep their characters alive while they go around collecting coins. The Easy last enough. stage features a buff bestower device capable of amplifying your opponent's capabilities, so you're gonna want to destroy that first before engaging them in battle. All right. Oh, there's so much to do. Okay, so just to confirm, it just seems like they mashed like five mini this games while into we're one. Our own domains. Yes. Yes. <sighs> I mean, aside from different landforms, mechanisms, fair enough. Or coins, it's just free, pretty much gems in it. Also, adjust how many stages are active per room, and opponent settings. Even buffs and buff bestowers can be placed inside these stages. Wait, you, hmm. that's so cool. Okay, so it sounds like the travelers will have even 
more creative freedom this time around. So what I'm gathering is that everyone should use their imagination and sprinkle as much creativity as they can into their designs, you know? Yeah. People are just going to put a shit ton of enemies in there. It's not even going to be a competition. <laughs> Well, hopefully, they'll also sprinkle some ingenuity as well. Get but, um, it? Get it? <laughs> that's literally what I just said. Ingenuity, traps, tomato, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, traps. Sure, as long as it's creative. Chaos. Oh, dear. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this time, there will also be co-op mechanics for this game mode. So if there's a stage you can't beat ah. on your own, you can bring your friends and try the challenges. Friends. Or, uh, fall into Jenny's traps together. Yeah. Yeah, friends. And remember, domain creators also must clear their own designs before they'll be able to share them with others. <laughs> okay, seriously, how do people clear some of these stages? They seem like they're going to be really difficult. Uh, I don't have a good answer for you other than the fact that people are kind of amazing. Yeah. I mean, I so, amazing, people, but there so, are I mean some people... There are people showcasing their own stages, and it's yeah. crazy. It's amazing. Some people can oh, create absolutely. some really good stuff. So, I hope all our creative travelers out there won't miss this event. Remember to share your codes or videos and let everyone play your domains. Traps. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, so next, we have a challenge event called the Feast of the Departed Warriors. A mysterious oh, a domain boss? has appeared near the Falcon Coast. Okay, and a its boss deaths are crawling challenge, with powerful eh? foes. Travelers will need to rely on their martial prowess to defeat them and earn rewards. Easy enough. Departed Warriors sounds spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> Anyway, this event should be one that many travelers are familiar with. However, let me give a quick overview for anyone who might not have seen this. Ah, uh, okay, it's this thing this again. This event has three types of dangerous adversaries awaiting our travelers. They're yeah, what's this like boss the select screen? Eon Blight Drake and the Bethysmal Bishop Herd, respectively. Okay. Travelers can also add additional conditions to their difficulty multiplier in this challenge, with increased difficulty resulting in greater rewards. Okay, I, I think I get the gist of this one. I heard okay. Thunder Manifestation and my heart stopped a little bit. So full disclosure, I'm probably not going to be doing the increased difficulty, but I hope everyone's ready for a challenge. <laughs> okay, I can do I can do most, most of these uh, Don't multiplies. Worry. Travelers can still get key rewards and materials by completing the challenge on lower difficulties, including Primo Gems. Oh, thank goodness. Travelers who are looking mm -hmm. for a real challenge can try the higher difficulties for a proper fight. I heard lower difficulties, Easy enough. and I once again feel safe. Cool beans. <laughs> Let's move on to the next event. <laughs> okay, so this one is another returning event for version Ah, the Haley Trails, eh? Haze Trials Hypothesis. So maybe some of you remember Jammy, the Sumeru researcher who was struggling with his thesis proposal. Well, this time... Where we time almost stops admits combat. We're pretty sure all our warm-hearted and friendly travelers will give him a hand. Also, as a little, you know, incentive, um, each experiment also offers rewards upon completion. God, those heli look we're so gonna help sick. Him. Besides, we're getting rewarded for offering our help, so what's there to lose? Exactly. Fair enough. So, I mean, given our travelers are honorary knights of the Knights of Favonius, and heroes who have assisted the Liyue Qixing, as well as, uh, actually everyone, I yeah. think. <laughs> Yeah, just, so li at this point, just list all of the uh, travelers' well, titles that we've obtained. Be just another walk in the park. Okay, so during the event, travelers can defeat enemies to gain phase tinctures. When they get enough phase tinctures, they can use them oh, to enter the okay. time dilation state. It's this, this game state, mode again. They can identify the weaknesses of their opponents mid-battle and select opportune okay. moments to capture more weaknesses in their opposition before using their super sense skills. Okay, this mode is ca game. this mode is kind of satisfying. Ooh, I really enjoyed it last time. Weaknesses is very <laughs> helpful when facing challenges. Not to mention the damage Wait. dealt by this super sense skill is pretty incredible. Oh, it's oh, yeah. really cool. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's brutal. Really useful. It can take care of opponents in a snap. You know, like taking the picture. Oh, wow. I didn't know that you were gonna be channeling your inner Sino. I didn't know. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, but remember, Ugh. this event requires okay. you to use the corresponding trial characters for the challenge. Oh, good. Okay, this way, everyone will be able to try out more characters. Exactly. Huh. Okay, there's seriously so much yeah. for all of us to experience in version 3.7. And <laughs> oh, would you level look at 80? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, the third redemption code is coming right up. Let's have a look together. Here it comes. And let's get it. Ready. Whoop, whoop. Wood, wood. That's a really nice piece of art. Right. And 
that's the end of today's report. It seems yeah. like all our reporters have returned to the studio now, which means we've reached the conclusion of our program. This has been so much fun. I can't believe it's over already. I, it's so I, re I really I like her character I design. I even more to share. So, how did you all enjoy being on the program today? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it has been so, so cool being on the program and... I can't wait for people to hear Kirara. Uh, she's so cute. I just she is mm -hmm. ah, so cute. <laughs> I'm Seriously, just gonna call. So I'm just fun. gonna call her. I've been Canada. wanting to do one of these programs for the longest time, and I'm so excited that I get to be here and talk about you and Mia. And also, I'm super excited for Julia and Maya to be joining the cast to welcome Yay! you guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh this my has been gosh. Amazing. This has been so much like, fun today. I wouldn't and, mind her being um, a playable I character. I'm just also really excited for these mini games, mini events. Yeah. I'm so excited, yeah. especially the Evermotion mechanical painting. Mini games, big excitement. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Mechanical just, paint is the one puzzles. I'm least looking it. forward to it. Don't forget, there's a strange case to investigate at the tournament ground, so Ooh. players should be sure to check that out. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was happy to join the program with you all and share all these details about version 3.7 with everyone. So, hope you all have a fantastic time in the upcoming update. All right. I don't know if I'm huffing copium, but hopefully she Thank is playable. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Maybe later down the Bye. line and she gets a vision. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> no, laughing like maniacs. Oh, Fontaine. Underwater, Fontaine. Hello. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. We can swim underwater. <laughs> All right. So it's been confirmed. We can. We're gonna be swimming, eh? God, I am so excited for version 3.7.